Romanian champion, but uh, definitely is an underdog in this. Here tonight is a young man that we keep waiting to fight for a world title. His record stands at nine wins, three losses. Samudio. Record of 22 wins, one loss. He has El Marquez. But he has won 22 in a row. 22 and 1. His or not remains to be seen, but we keep waiting for him to get that. And the uh, ratings of all of the organizations. 27 pounds, which apparently Rich. The young man from Pat of the Featherweight uh, Division. He carries a pretty big punch. Butler, doesn't he? Who was one of the all time tall feather. Could very well be. <laughs> that, uh, uh, he won that in his last fight, a 12 round decision. Not traveled much. Damn, with a sharp right. Expect to see him start real fast. And he is a favorite here. He's been hit with right hand yeah. leads. And, and if, if uh, but he gets into with some heavyweights, and they're about 14 times taller. There, just offering an easy target for Marquez. We right hand leads that Marquez right was hand. able to land in right that round. That one followed maybe among the three or four very best trainers in the world today. The only good thing then is Moody to be an available target for that rider. The two black trimmed in gold. Is becoming very fluid now in the ring as he goes along and the will to win. He showed that uh, in the fight against Julian Wheeler. It's coming from uh, Paris Dana Slow. He never tasted the canvas, wasn't right. it? Mm -hmm. And yet he was able to come good prospect. Yeah. But, but Nacho, he's ranked number one in the world. Yeah. Well, he's a good prospect. Marquez is a patient fighter. And that uh, Zamudio is a decided underdog here in this fight. They're easily did it. Well, he's got it back in now. You're going to have to label the round three will be coming your way. So we pause this time. The weight division, Juan Manuel Marquez, a 9-3-1 and one with four knockouts. The offense of his own, Tom, he has not been able to penetrate the deep. He's trying to work his way in against Marquez. Yeah, but he's he, not getting all of his uh, reach and advantage. And um, right down at about the same height level that Marquez. <laughs> Dangerously close to banging heads as they into the fight here a little bit in this round. Pressing the action. Three of a scheduled uh, ten round. The reaction from the fans of the test. And there's the bell. That brings us to the end of round number three. Not honor. It's a magnificent young man and an unbelievably talented. Quite understand it. I'm sure the reasons are. Well, they'll probably get that settled about the time they settle the um, round number four. It was scheduled for ten. Zamudio felt that one. Yeah. He wobbled for a second. Yeah, and it looking himself, which uh, myself, which I do fight some of these guys, and when they get in the ring here, it's a great Western fight. Oh, no. <laughs> right. Even though he's a so right on the borderline as well, and he's feeling those body shots. He too wins. And, uh, one would assume that he had from Panama. You see the this round coming. Zamudio's done a pretty good job in the last couple of rounds. Into the fray at the bell. So the action be Marquez really gave way there. His legs dipped down. Now Marquez with a low blow. Rounds one and two that nailed Zamudio but did not have any. Is uh, fighting a bigger man here. Yep. Maybe beyond limit. Marquez, of course. I don't know if it was because of the two low blows, but look where Zamudio's got the... I mean, he's got him pulled up a little bit, too, as if to call the attention. Nice right hand by Marquez, and of course, that blood all in this fight with Zamudio. And he is thoroughly in... The man who gets better with yes. each round yes. when he fights. He gets stronger for... And it's unusual... Big right body by Marquez, banging away with that left hand. Kind of all the attention to the fans who whistle and stomp a little. Mudio has never at any time really been a ball of fire. Anymore. No. Marquez uh, 49. Zamudio 40 causes us and fight fans concerned. First of all, Azumi gave uh, Marquez rounds one two. Boxing Association is recovering at home after triple box. I don't know that I've ever done a fight. I've done a lot of them where Martin has been announced uh, as ring announcer. And in his absence, will be. Yes. Your dad would be proud of you. No boxing here in Southern California and around the world, really. Steven Zamudio actually won round, Tom, that one round where he landed the big right. Zamudio and the red trunks bobbing and weaving. Oh, in the ring? No. Bit of a layoff for one Manuel who fought four times. In this fight, 
here in the sixth round, and he's been banging have 11. Certainly tall for this division. Uh, Nassim Hamid, I think Hamid's uh, dance card is finished. That six is coming to a close. We'll be back. Knocked down just before the end of the sixth round, accomplished by Juan Manuel. And so what Lou Filippo has told us is both of them count. Low blow as well, so probably a 9 round. He stepped in, I'm sure, right about that time to take the point away. And just a handful of seconds left in round number six. But it is a knockdown. Stepping in. There's a right hand lead and another one. Cindy Marquez took advantage of a, a moment to deck. <laughs> you, know, you know, the old admonition, protect yourself at all times. Some solid shots here, not only in the round just completed. Really the better mix of performance by Marquez, but getting better as we go along. There goes the match. developed time over the left eye of Samudio. That's going to need attention, right? A scorcher to be sure. The left hand that knocked the mouthpiece out, but it was that right hand. And then their heads come together. Rich, that may have uh, just um, both been a bit anxious to get on with it here in round number eight. Scott Ruiz against uh, Bartholomew's. Uh, Welder waits, and that'll be a dandy. And that's our main event still on the really fought well. Because he's not the kind to uh, fritter away his time. I, I guess he's frittering. <laughs> but <laughs> we are being a bit in a headgear and going a couple of rounds with the guy down there. The whole outlook on life. Uh, on cuts for Juan Manuel Marquez. Hanson very glad. There goes the mouthpiece again. Zamudio's had that big item almost all night long. I think we've had about four rounds. He's a very big favorite here at the crowd. It's a great Western Forum. That he's been spitting it out either. purposely. No. Still, Filippo's being forced. It is as though he were looking uh, quick, and he uh, can really make you look bad. There's Zamudio. Samudio is wearing down. Yeah, because that's a pretty good puncher in front of him. Yeah. He's around. Had a point taken away in the process. Nice. Samudio down. Samudio has taken those shots. And as you watch him, he's not without skills. Uh, slips and moves. Yeah, but he's becoming handicapped by it. Got a blood his ball. corner and moves. The right hand that Marquez has used effectively. There's one there. He looks uh, fit and ready in all business now, doesn't he? And now Lou Filippo's going to stay. As I said, the kid was wearing down. The cut's bothering him. There you see, it's just a glancing blow in his nine. A referee in charge. Lou Filippo stops the contest. Marquez. Well, as you can see from that close-up, that cut.